how to post anything on YouTube. Okay, welcome back guys. My name is Ebenezer Chi and I'm the host on this channel. Today we're going to talk to you about copyright on YouTube. Now, copyright law actually, I, I, I want to explain it in the layman's understanding. When you talk about a copyright, okay, it's actually a right that protects, I mean, the real owners of a particular thing. So, for example, if this design, for example, special eyes, for example, um, their logo, okay, they, this thing, they have a right to it that when you go and use it without their consent, they can sue you. If, if you want to use their name or something like that, you have to make sure that you contact them, they give you the right to use and you can use it. It's a copyright. This video I'm shooting right now on my channel, when I see you, when I see it on a different channel, I can report that person to YouTube because it's not for him. So that is a copyright. It's actually how people to actually have the overall control of whatever thing that they've created by themselves. Yes. So as a Christian YouTuber, I made mention of Christian YouTuber because this one is mainly strategic to these people because these people are those that they, they are going to use kind of some Christian melodies and all those things in their videos. So are you allowed to use everything? No, not even a sermon. <laughs> yes, yeah, not even a sermon. For example, I wouldn't mention any ministry's name, but I've, I've written to a lot of ministries. That is big ministry, but you write to them. Then they wouldn't even reply. Some of them will do you go come, go come, go come like that. <laughs> they wouldn't allow you. I guess God, you wrote to the Church of Pentecost. They allowed us, yes, you wrote to the Church of Pentecost to share their messages and they gave us the go ahead. Um, so I, I wouldn't mention any ministry again, but COP is one of the biggest ministries in the world. And for them to actually give you the go ahead, share their messages, it's not easy. That is God. So that is the copyright job talking about. You have to seek the consent of the person before you upload. So you are saying that. Okay, we are doing God's work. Yes, we know that you are doing God's work, but um, in the course of time, you are going to be get, uh, paid. Hey. So that is why the copyright system should come in. And secondly, you see, YouTube is a place that people try to just do something to catch people's attention. So let me give a title. And you post a video, you do things, and maybe there's a problem, and they need the real people to contact them. That also becomes another deal, or maybe something happens. What are you going to do about it? That is why I have to seek consent from the owners of the particular thing that you are actually working on. That is why this copyright issue is all about. So, for example, I saw a guy uploaded one of my tutorials. I know the person, okay, he knows me. He didn't ask me anything. But he just went, went ahead and uploaded it. <laughs> so I just saw the video, I was like, ah, this guy, at least you should tell me why he didn't do it. I, just, I didn't do anything, but to be frank with you, um, from 2019, that is 4, 4 January 2019 till now, I've gotten more than, more than 10 copyright strikes, whereby there was a time I got my channel terminated. Copyright issues is something that you shouldn't joke about. Whether you're a Christian YouTuber, you are entertainment, whatever. There are some news broadcasting companies. You just take some sip of their broadcast into your video, you are in trouble. We have some companies you do a video that is against them, they can take your video down. There is one Christian check, for example, when you when you upload a content of them, they are just going to give you a strike. So all these are things you should know. And if you are listening to me, you're a Christian YouTuber, don't, I'm not spoiling anyone, but don't dare to post uh, Pastor Cruz or Young Media. Don't try it. Yes, don't try it. Because when you try it, it will be blocked. Don't try to upload a Christian West message. They will give you a strike. There are some things you should know. Because if you don't know and you do it, 
you are going to get trouble in the future. Remember, greater the channel. <laughs> I got 6,000 subscribers plus, and my channel got a strike. They've now released the, ch the channel though, but had, had I known, it's always at last. So, copyright is important. Now, someone will say that, oh, but I uploaded the video. When I uploaded it, I didn't see anything. Yes, we have something we call content, I mean, content ID claim. This is a virtual claim of, I mean, a, a property. So, for example, I have a music. And I want someone to know that the music you are in is not your, it is mine. So, how to identify this music? That is why sometimes you upload a video, then you see restriction, then, um, yes, then the right may be copyright, so, so and so. That means that there is the, the person has virtually claimed it. So we have the content ID claim there, whereby virtually the person is able to claim the video or the audio, whatever thing, as his. And by the way, if this video is interesting to you, uh, a sub to the channel will be helpful. So as I was saying, we have that one day, then we have the manual. The manual is that I have not, I wouldn't let you know that you are not to upload my video, my image, my audio. Okay? But once you do it, <laughs> once you do it, I can manually come in there tell YouTube that this video is mine, tell this guy to <laughs> remove it in seven days or I'll give the person a strike. Or I'll just tell you to give this person a strike. YouTube will listen to me and do it for me. It's something that uh, most people try to actually just ignore it. There was a guy I contacted and he said, it's not necessary as for me. I don't post copyright. I was, no, no there's nothing like copyright ones. It is not yours. Something that is no use. You don't own a right to you are a third party. And as a third party user, you must seek consent from the rightful owner before using it. And the next thing for you to know, really the last one is that we have two things. We have some <coughs> contents, okay? People like um Tim Fearless, motivational speeches. They have their speeches in there, you can use it on YouTube, but then the money will be going to them. Yes. They, they don't have a problem. You can't download their YouTube video, but you can get their speech. Use your own stock images and arrange it nicely. But when they are monetizing, they are going to get the money for them. So we are going, not going to get anything. And we have some content to. The idea is that you are going to share the revenue among you and the original owner, which is quite cool. So that is something that we have to know about the YouTube content, ID claims, manual claims, and copyright. It is very, very important. Once again, before you use a content, make sure you seek the right of using it before using it. I've, I've been through a lot of, on YouTube in here. And all the things I've been through, I've learned a lot from them. And that is why I am teaching you so that you wouldn't make such mistakes again. Yes. If you're an IT guy, you, you, you come to that. So thank you very much for watching this video. Um, don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are new in here. And if you want to create a YouTube channel too, you can check, I mean, the description. We have a lot of videos that talks about YouTube, how to create it, how to grow on YouTube, how to get more views and everything in there to help you to grow and size it on YouTube. Thank you and see you in my next video.